And one of two things happens, either they quit or they get fired. And so we want to make sure we're trying to avoid these bottlenecks and we're leading ourselves right into them by saying one person per story. Because I guarantee you, if you got the worst kind of story and you did okay with it, you're going to get that one all the time. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Real Agile or BS. I'm Peter Saddington with my great colleague, Bob Hartman. We love at answering all of your great Agile questions out there. And, you know, there's one that I get sometimes in classes from clients uh, is this whole idea of should a developer or a team member have their own stories to work on? And is this real Agile or BS? I'm going to go first because this actually came up in my last class as one of the individuals who came from kind of a project management traditional mindset uh, raised a question and she asked, she said, hey, should I assign team members on my team user stories? So this is usually how this type of conversation and context comes up. And so my answer obviously was, it's not really your job. We believe in self-management. We believe in self-organization. We want the teams obviously through sprint planning to be able to pull the work that they are able to complete and be able to commit to. And we believe if we're, if we're borrowing a term from XP, this whole idea of swarming and that the team is responsible for delivery of the entire package or the entire work that's going to be done during the sprint. If that's the case, then in my opinion, I'm interested to see what your opinion is on this, Bob. My opinion is I find it to be an unnecessary, com potentially commanding control mechanism for control in that, hey, you're assigned to this story. It's your responsibility all the way. You have to get it done. Well, we're expanding that responsibility out. It's the team's responsibility. And we want the team to help swarm, which means come and help that individual if they're stuck. Now, I also, for everyone out there, I have a little bit of a bias because I come from an engineering perspective and I just don't like it when people assign work to me. So maybe that's another reason why I'm a little bit opposed to this idea. But for me, I would say if within your company, within your team, if your team members would pull tasks and they say, hey, I'm taking this all the way and they assign it themselves, you know what? I'm cool with that. What I'm not cool with is a manager or even a scrum master. Oh, don't do that. Um, assigning stories to, to team members and saying, you are responsible for this. I think that is not agile at all and complete BS. Bob, over to you. All right, so I think we've really got two questions here. One is the assignment of work, and that's clearly BS. That goes against self-managing, self-organizing, everything. So that, that, that I think we can put together as BS, to put to that as BS. But the, the one story per person thing, I'm just going to look at it scientifically and logically for a second. So, Peter, can we agree that at the end of a sprint, you're supposed to have a fully tested and working increment? Can we agree on that? Yeah. yeah. How can one person do that? Ooh. Don't we need somebody to test it? Well played, sir. <laughs> so, so having one person say, I'm going to take it from beginning to end, just doesn't make logical sense. Mm. So I think as soon as we get into that mindset, now we're in the mindset that says, oh, for that to be true, I need a development story and a testing story. Oh, well, for that to be true, I now need an analysis story. Mm -hmm. And I need a design story. And before you know it, we've got waterfall everywhere. So I think it leads to horrible habits when you say one person per story. Mm -hmm. And I think it also leads to silos. So if you do this particular type of story all the time, you're now a silo. And I just did an Agile Daily Dose video. I don't even know if it'll be released before we release this, but it's about silos and the fact that silos cause bottlenecks. By definition, it's going to be a bottleneck. And when that bottleneck gets bad enough, that person is under tremendous stress. And one of two things happens, either they quit or they get fired. And so we want to make sure we're trying to avoid these bottlenecks and we're leading ourselves right into them by saying one person per story. Because I guarantee you, if you got the worst kind of story and you did okay with it, you're going to get that one all the time. So I just think it's a bad habit. I think it's not agile at its core. I think we have to recognize the power of swarming, which, by the way, let's talk about some benefits. You and I swarm together and get something done. Well, now we both know how it works. 
yay, I can take a vacation. Peter can handle it. Peter can take a vacation. I can handle it. Oh, that's right. Peter never vacations. So forget that idea. But anyway, we can do those sorts of things and, and it will work because we have shared code knowledge. So really I think point. it's just, I don't think it's just a bad idea. I think it's, I, I just think it's anti-agile in almost every way we want people to be agile. So, but I don't have a strong opinion about it or anything. <laughs> I think I think we'll, we'll we'll cut it off there. There's not a whole whole much much more to say here. Having one one person per user story, and if I add a little bit of context, having someone assign that to that individual, these are just bad ideas. But what's great about the internet is everyone has opinions. So if you've watched this video and you're a subscriber, let us know. Leave a comment below if you disagree, or join us in our new Agile community site that you can find at agileforall.com. Make sure you click on the community link and join us for discussions around ideas just like this. We'd love to hear your opinions. Again, subscribe, smash the like button, and we'll see you guys next time.